I had 48 hours to create a commercial for a $300,000 SUV. And this is what happened. So a while ago, I got a DM from Antique Media who asked me if I wanted to go to Frankfurt to film a commercial for Aston Martin's flagship SUV. And I was like, yes, yes, yes. Have a nice day. We're in Heathrow Terminal 5 because we're flying out to Frankfurt. We gotta go in the camera shop, right? Is that the Nikon D3000? Yanis picked up the car. He tested it out at 50% gas and he was like, this shit is fast. So I was traveling with Michael, who's an FPV pilot, content creator, and absolute Muppet. <laughs> so after a relaxing two hour flight, we landed in Frankfurt and it was time to meet up with Yanis. Hey guy, bro, you good? And see the car. And this is gonna be the first time we actually see the car. It's very exciting. Oh, that is a big, big car. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> that color is so nice. What's the handling like? Is it good? When you change it to Sports Plus, then it gets like really tight and it lowers the car as well. So oh, really? Suspense. And it didn't take long before he showed us the acceleration power of the car, <laughs> which safely took us to our hotel. So this video was possible thanks to Be Mine Hotels, who let us stay there over the course of the trip. And it's very special because not only is it located right next to the airport, it has an incredible lobby and restaurant, but it has a car elevator, so you can take your car to the floor that you're going to stay in. Seriously, you can sleep next to your car. Is your room the one with the car. Yeah. We're gonna see it firsthand. Quite an experience this really when you think about it. So this is a personalized lift. Yep. And they have a pattern on it so they're the only people that can use it. Is this the room you're staying in? Yeah. Oh my god. And what? the airport's right there. Oh yeah. my word. <laughs> so if you're ever staying at Frankfurt, check them out below. So even though I was very excited about this whole trip, in the back of my mind, I was a little bit anxious. And that's because in this trip, one of my goals was to do my first ever rolling shot, which is basically what a lot of professional car commercials have. And it sounds like quite a scary experience. So next day we got up nice and early. What is the plan today? We're gonna go to look for a place to clean the car. There's a bunch of watermarks everywhere. Hopefully it doesn't get scratched. But that wasn't the only thing Michael was worried about. Kind of nervous is the truth of it. I've practiced this on a simulator. All the time I've put into that has led me to this moment, which is actually kind of exciting and kind of terrifying all at the same time. <laughs> That fresh car. That's a success. Next, we we're going to drive up to these mountains here. As we were going up, I decided to try filming the car outside the window to get some practice in. However, this was much harder than I thought. Firstly, to control the camera, keep everything in frame, and fighting against the wind. And oh. even though that got me worried about the real thing, we started to notice something as we got to the mountains. It was so nice and fun. Yeah, that is so cool. Everything looked perfect. Perfect. It's the sickest fucking forest ever. So the plan is I'm gonna post up here. We're gonna drive the car down this road and I'm gonna chase it. So whilst he's setting up, Yanis and I decided to test the launch control of this car. So after Michael was all set up, it was time for him to take it to the skies. I can see the drone. Just let him go around, I was sick. Mate, this camera makes it look like I'm so small, bro. Oh my God. How was it? That is gonna look sick. That's so much harder than I thought it was gonna be, but I think we got some good shots. But now it was time for me to do the rolling shot. In this trunk. Okay. Hey, we're cozy. <laughs> do that. I'm doing it! I'm doing it! Yes! That was sick! I feel worried. You went fast! Oh, it's scary. You were going 30 and I felt like I was going like 100. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Oh, that looks cool. Oh my gosh. This thing hit me in the... <laughs> so oh man, that looks so damn sick. Let's go! <laughs> so before our next location, it was just time for one more thing to do. I'm gonna basically put this suction cup at the front. Isn't oh. the satisfying one? Test. <sighs> that looks solid. I can see a massive smudge on it though. <laughs> okay, my dear. Please don't fall. Okay. 
<laughs> what? I'm so scared it's gonna fall. <laughs> the camera survived, thankfully. So now we're gonna do a different shot, but check how sick this looks. Now we're at five star car detailing. They have a really cool looking car detailing shop with some really sick lights that you can see over here. And this is where we filmed our beginner versus pro car edit challenge, which you can check out up here. A lot of you guys really like that video. Now day two, our plan was to go to the Leica Museum and try and get some shots next to this really cool gray wall. This is why you need a polarizer when you're shooting cars. You can see without it, you've got tons of reflections, but if you just use a polarizer, you bring back the color and it looks really nice. But that didn't matter because afterwards we went to the woods to get some outdoor shots. And with all that footage recorded, here is the final commercial video. This is a great collaboration between Michael, Yanis, and I, and we had loads of fun. Be sure to check both of them out there. If you wanna see the beginner versus pro editing challenge, you can check out this video here. And if you guys want me to do a breakdown of how I edited this commercial, well, you can let me know in the comments below. With that being said, I'll see you in the next video.